Hi, you're watching EverythingTech.TV Tutorials. I'm your host, Jason Tucker. So today we're going to talk about optimizing Gmail. So let's, uh, let's get started here. So here's a standard Gmail screen. And uh, what we're going to do is use a add-on called Better Gmail 2, which is going to add a little bit of functionality to Gmail. And we're going to add in some other uh, add-ons as well. So let's go over to Tools, and we've, I've already enabled it, so we're going to we're going to actually um, just select this right here. And on this screen here, you can enable a couple of cool little features. You can do the Compose Mail to Links in Gmail. This is great for when you're on a different website and you're uh, going to click on a Mail to Link, and instead of opening up your um, your email client, it'll actually open up Gmail, which is now your email client. So we'll select that. You can also force encryption using HTTPS. That's great. Um, the inbox count first, cool little feature. You could also enable the macros. I haven't really gotten into that yet, so maybe I'll do a new, another tutorial later about that. Over messages, you can enable the attachments icon. If you look down here, you can actually see that it's using just a standard attachment icon. You'll see what happens when I enable this. You can also do the show message details. And then over on the sidebar, you can use the folders for Gmail, the hide spam count, and the quota graph. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the folders for Gmail thing, but if you like it, so be it. Okay, so now we're back at Gmail, and I'm going to refresh the screen here so you can kind of see, see how it's been updated and see how it's changed. So if you look over here, you can see the, the numbers are showing up here. You see down here the little graph that's showing up. You can look at the different labels that have been set up. Um, and then over here, which is neat, is it tells you that it's an image that's being attached, which is pretty handy. Okay, so the next thing um, I'm going to show you is using Remember the Milk. Now, if you if you haven't used Remember the Milk, it's great. Uh, it's a service that allows you to set up tasks and then these tasks can be emailed to you, SMS messages to you, I believe it uses Twitter, it uses all sorts of different really cool technologies. So if we go over to Remember the Milk, you can go and download their add-on, and then what happens is when you go back into Gmail, it adds in this little sidebar here. So say tomorrow I'm going to have to go to work. So we'll say, uh, you can uh, ty just type in the, the uh, actual thing that you're going to be doing. So we'll say work at 5 p.m. Monday. And now on Monday at 5 p.m. there's work. <laughs> so it's a pretty nifty way of being able to uh, you know, keep track of what you're doing. You can also edit some of these things and then it'll actually send it up to rememberthemilk.com and keep it updated. So that's a, another cool feature that you could do. Um, the third thing you can do requires you to use Grease Monkey. So we'll go down here and we'll enable Grease Monkey, and we'll hit refresh, and you'll see what happens here. So what this add-on does is it um, kind of cleans up a few things up here on the top here. You can actually remove this if you want. Um, for someone like me that has multiple Gmail accounts, I wouldn't remove this, but I'll show you that functionality in a second. Um, also, down here on the bottom, you can actually see my Google Calendar shows up here as well. So, um, let's go into Grease Monkey, and let's check out the Grease Monkey script. And the Grease Monkey script we're looking at is Enhanced Gmail, and we'll look at the script here. So, uh, if you haven't used Grease Monkey, uh, some of the Grease Monkey scripts come with the ability to make changes to the um, the setup of a Grease Monkey script. Um, what I what, what this one does in particular is it allows you to make those changes um, using just a standard text editor. Um, in this case, I'm using BB Edit to edit this uh, JavaScript file. And so here you can set up a few things. You can remove the Gmail ID, which is that ID on the top that I was showing you use multiple email accounts, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, you could also remove your footer, you can remove the invites, which doesn't look like it did, but um, some of these work and some of these don't. <laughs> Gmail kind of makes a lot of changes throughout the, uh, throughout the year, so some of these things aren't going to work. These guys usually put out um, new uh, 
versions of these scripts that will make the tweaks work a little bit better. The one the one part in, that we're worried about here is this. What this does is it allows you to display your enhanced calendar down here on the bottom and then also load it up. You can have it so it won't load and you could you have to click on a link to to load it up. Uh, you could also um, tell it to display it on the bottom and then the show the calendar width and then the calendar height. And calendar height is good because depending on how big your screen is, like my laptop for instance, I might want this to be a little bit uh, smaller or a little bit bigger depending on how much space you want to have set up up here. Okay, so uh, if you could also look at the JavaScript that's being uh, called here as well. The other thing we're using is the Google Calendar, Enhanced Google Calendar script. And what this one does is it removes, this. there's a header that shows up up here, and uh, this script actually will remove that that navigation bar, and it'll also remove the um, print icons as well. Okay, so there's that. Um, if you want to uh, check out the uh, Grease Monkey scripts, you can go over to the userscripts.org page and you can download them just by clicking on the install script. It'll install the script and then you can enable it. And then the other one is the Enhanced Google Calendar script, which, uh, which I was showing you that removes the little header. So hopefully this works out for you. Um, you can go uh, take a look at those. You can also check out the show notes for the links to all of these over at everythingtech.tv. All right, well, thank you very much for stopping by and listening. I appreciate it. We'll be talking to you later.